Hello there, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. A little bit of a special here today. Uh, just want to thank everybody so much for their questions, and I will be answering them all today. So, you know, this is sort of the behind the scenes of, you know, how all the magic happens and whatnot. But, you know, most of these questions were kind of off topic with what I was going to try to appear, uh, you know, appease to, but. Again, I don't mind answering. All right, so I got three questions here by Atarix, and here they are. Uh, how much time do you spend by day in front of your computer? Well, I don't really spend too much time in front of my computer actually, because I'm usually like going out and doing something, you know, like looking for a job or something like that, and that crit criteria, and usually help out the folks with random assortment of things as well. You know, make my keep my keep. Um, that's about it, really. And that I, when I don't really stand in front of my computer all the time, I just let it sit there, you know. And I usually let things encode, or I save things. I don't do bit torrents or anything like that. So I'm, I'm not those type of guys that sit around my computer 24/7. I'm not quite like that. Like I'll casually go on YouTube and check out, like, uh, if anyone has any comments on my video, I try to answer them as soon as possible. That's about it, really. So. How many hours do I play by week for games? And that's about, I'd say roughly about 45 hours a week, give or take. Um, I did grind the hell out of 13. I'm not done with it yet. I'm taking my sweet time with it because I'm kind of enjoying the process. So, do you ever cleaned up? Do have I ever cleaned up my room? And procrastinating the hell out of that. Actually, it's I haven't been getting that done at all. You know, I've been saying, I'm going to clean up this room, I get halfway there, and I'm just like, oh, because I have to be doing something else in my family or something, so it's like, I have to stop and drop everything I'm doing, then everything gets dirty again, because I get lazy, so, it doesn't help myself out at all. So, alright, next question is by 20, I'm sorry, 28 Stein, Starnian, Starlin, yeah, Sterlin, there we go. If you ever had an option to kill P. Diddy and get away with it, would you take that option? Well, I got no beef against P. Diddy. Me and him are a crew. We're, we're a bunch of clicks. And, uh, well, well I, I couldn't say I quite would want to kill a man anyway. I, I don't believe in murder. Well, except the video games because it's, you know, totally different. It's not reality. It's not going to reflect your reality. So, unless people take that crap seriously and need help for that, it won't ever affect my reality. Next one is from a friend of mine named GamerGuy118. Are you all fuck yeah? Oh, you all fucking fuck yeah? Well, I'm feeling oh fucking fuck yeah. Well, hope that answers it for you. <laughs> this one is from Il Caro W or Caro. I think I got his name right. El Caro W. Uh, do you have a girlfriend, and does she support your interest and love of video games? Your parents play video games, and if you had to play a game for the rest of your life and only play had to play one choice what would it be cheers for and it cheers looking forward okay I'll answer the first question first um no I don't have a girlfriend right now not at the moment and she would most likely be a gamer cuz you know I'm talking to a girl right now and um you know she plays video games quite as often as I do so it's like you know so yeah, I think she would kind of support that if that answers the question quite well. <laughs> and as she would support it, so my parents used to play video games, not as hardcore anymore as they were before. They kind of just said screw it. And if I had to pick one game to play for the rest of my life, what would it be? I'd probably what game would I actually pick? I would actually probably pick a pair of sexual die. So that way, if I was on that island. I would have my girlfriend on there with me, and we'd just be rolling the dice infinitely and figuring out new little things until we got bored and died and end up beating each other. Well, pardon the pun. But, <laughs> I'm going to hell. Alright, so, that's basically it. And thank you very much for that question, by the way. Um, Wire, do you like, which is another friend of mine, Wire asks, do you like moose meat? Well, I haven't tried moose meat. And he asked where he could put his penis, and I'd say in my mouth only if he bought me dinner. But, alright, next question. 
I need the money. Anyway. <laughs> Next one is from PBR69. Which do you prefer? The Mambo Number no. 5 by Lou Berga, the Macarena by Luis Del Rico, or How Bizarre by OMC? A lot of these are Spanish bands, and some of them have like Latino rhythms to their beats. Um, I'd have to go with the, the Macarena because I grew up with that one as a kid. And, you know, Mambo Number no. 5 got stuck in my damn head. I hated it to a passion. But, alright, next question is by Star Soldier 1. Hey, dude. What's your least favorite NES game you have ever played? That would have definitely have to be... What was it called? Shoot. There's this like one game that I despise, and it's uh, Destination Earth Star. I hate that game with passion. Like, I would, I would rage quit. I've had to force to play that game 24-7. I hate that game with a passion. All right, next question, which I kind of get this commonly as hell, and I don't like, you know, being, like, showboatsy about it, or I don't... You know, try to flash it off unless I know it would be like benefit beneficial towards everybody else on YouTube. Uh, Zordon nine nine one asked, "How was I able to upload up to forty minute videos?" Um, that's quite simple. I've had an account for quite some t pardon me, some quite some time, and it's basically sort of YouTube's thank you for being on the website for so long. You know, some sort of technicality of O six or something like that. So. I'm able to upload basically up to 20 gigabytes worth of space of a video, so that would be commonly about rough, roughly about the age of a high definition video or a movie, like a Blu-ray almost. But you know, seeing that a lot of movies were released in Blu-ray, that tells you one thing: I wouldn't be able to upload those because I'd get in trouble. So next question is Pearl Jammer 7 asks: When did you get into gaming? What is your favorite old school game consoles, FPS, or platformer? Well, I got into gaming when I was like two years old, and it was like really bounced off towards the MS DOS prompt days, where you know I had like games like you know Commander Keen and Duke Nukem, not the 3D one. People always get that mistaken. Um, Duke Nukem 2, Doom, you know all those other games. So the question is, uh, for the old school gaming console, I would not necessarily say a console. I really, really loved the old MS DOS days. I love. Duke Nukem and you know Bio Menace and Blake Stone, those kind of games, which are all platformer and FPS. So it's sort of like a mix to answer the FPS or platformer, which was my favorite. So it'd be both for the FPS and platformer because I just play games in general. I don't really have too much of a favorite because it's like so many different aspects of different types of platforms that interest me a lot. So it's really I couldn't answer that question with one simple answer. Yeah, when I was two years old, it was truth to no lie. It's when I, when I was a kid, I, baby, basically, I was playing video games in my diapers. I was like, I would pick up a controller and just played it. I wasn't very good at it, I don't remember, but I was, you know, focusing enough. So, all right, Vermillion138 asks, do you pee in the tub? Well, I only pee in the tub if like the water's running and it's like extremely hot because it was sanitized the ground. And plus, if I was using a, like a soap, it would actually go into the drain and actually clean up the tub, so that way the piss won't stay into the tub. And I only do that if I have like the toilets clogged or something and like, the water's running. You know? <laughs> so I don't want the shit all staying up in the tub and it's like. Ugh. And plus, I do sanitize the tub after anyway, so because like they're on the area I peed in, so. That's only if, like, I'm taking a shower and I want to jump out of the shower, and it's like nothing wrong with it as long as you aim towards the, the uh, drain. Don't aim around on the walls or anything, which would be kind of disgusting in a sense. Um, who would beat whom when you and Viper were kids playing Old Master System? Um, me and my brother never really played the system together. We kind of skipped, like, he would play Eves on there, the first Eves. My brother actually corrupted my dad's save file on that, so I think my dad got pissed off at him with the system. I don't, I don't know what happened with that, but um, there was no games that were really two players that me and him could go against each other in, so it was like really nothing at all, so me and him used to play Double Dragon, but that was about it, practically. Uh, number three would be, first questions, did you ever feel nostalgic, what do you ever feel nostalgic about a game that you remember playing it and discovered it was pretty shitty? Um... I would have to say, which one was it? There was about one game, it was actually pretty bad, but I got into it big time. It was actually, 
Actually, I can't tell you the truth. I can't remember. I had it in my head before. But it was it was it was based off the Game Boy games. It was like a pool game or something. It was like a really broken pool game. I loved the crap out of it because I just it was just simple, silly fun. It was actually the controls were good. Just it was boring as hell, which made it extremely shitty for me. So. Alright, fourth question from him is Cheetos or Doritos? I don't really eat too many Cheetos and I don't really eat a lot of Doritos, so I'd probably go with like the cheeseburger flavored Doritos is one of my favorites. Jughead82. Mm, represent. Uh, Jughead82 is here are some epic questions, lol. <laughs> what. What got you into gaming? Um, the question answered above. What got me into gaming was when I was a baby. I had nothing, like I didn't want to read books, so I just like played a video game when I was like two years old, practically. Like sat down on a computer in a game pad and just played something. It was just more of me interested, me being interested in the game rather than me being told about the game. I just looked at the game and woo, Sonic! You know, I just walked up to it or something. I think it was Sonic or some other game. It because I, I don't really think it was Sonic that was the first game I ever played. Like, everyone keeps saying it was, but I doubt it was, because it was something that had nothing to do with platforming. That's why I do remember, like, vision. I can remember so crap when I was a baby, but I can't remember crap anywhere else. <laughs> I don't understand it. Are you a person that if a game draws you in, you have to finish it? Yeah, Final Fantasy Thirteen right now is drawing the crap out of me. It's like, it's like drawing me an extra sketch right now. It's like, I want to finish it, but yet I just want to relax and enjoy it, because it's like I'm really enjoying the environments and all that so it's one of those type of experiences to kick back and chill with all right get back to these questions a little bit more quicker now is wrestling wrestling what are some of your least best move best memories watching wrestling it would have to be the old 80s style like the old like wwf days like you know hulk hogan's and the ultimate warriors the ultimate warriors was a humongous jobber that had an ego the size of a fucking blimp and you know, I like the I like the crap out of the get characters like Jake the Snake Roberts and whatnot. And examples, yeah, you know stuff like that. <clears throat> it just really drew me in that way. I, I really enjoyed the characters back then versus now. Going off into the uh, God damn it, PM there. All right, so next question would be from him: Is what is the Mario game that you would play for hours. That would be Super Mario Brothers 3, actually. I, I played the crap out of that game when I was younger, and I still play the crap out of it now. Um, boxers or briefs? I'd have to say I don't wear boxers or briefs at all. I kind of go commando most of the time. That's why I don't like standing up in most videos. <sighs> wink, wink. Alright, getting into the rest of these questions, which is by two more YouTubers. Uh, next is by Sinister Moon. If you could... If you were walking around in New York City and a gang of street toughs tried to jump you, would you rather have Luke Morris 1, MM12 Bird, or any angry video game nerd help you? Well, seeing I'd probably most likely have two continues in this situation, I'd probably do it alone because I'm a bad enough dude. Yes. And plus, Luke's in Japan and MM12 Bird's in Canada and any good video angry video game nerd's up somewhere up in Illinois, so I probably could not even, even I'd, I'd be screwed. Ever farted while making a video and cut it because it smelled so bad? I don't think they really invented smell vision so I don't think I don't think the uh, anyone watching my video would have to be in any sort of danger with this. Um, which is my favorite Muppet Baby? I have to say Gonzo because that's why I remember name I can remember. <laughs> but all right, Grease Lightning seventy two asked, "Okay, how many consoles do you have?" I have about sixteen give or take. And what is the main console you use most of all? Well, I kind of use the Nintendo a lot, like the NES. And I do bounce off between the Genesis and the NES a lot. And I also go with the PS3. And, you know, it, it, I cannot sit down and play one console at once. I have to play every single one of them. Like, I'll just sit down. My mind goes like, okay, Genesis time. Okay, uh, Atari time. Okay, and it keeps on going back and forth. Bounces off everything in the freaking, in their mother, basically, to uh, play. So, I hope that answers everyone's questions. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody again for their questions. So, uh, take it easy. And, uh, take